So we're going to create a splice using end phase connectors. This one is the male, and this one is the female. Tools we're going to need, knife, wire strippers, and a crimper. This is the splice that I made last time I was here because I didn't have the proper materials. We're going to replace that. On this end, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to show you what you would do if you just came up to some trunk cable looking like this. The other end, I might be able to use those wires as they are. I don't know of a good safe way to cut trunk cable without cutting towards my hand, but if you look closely, you see that the trunk cable was made up of a red and a black wire. We're going to take the knife and we're going to cut the insulation and divide the wire. And we need to cut off maybe about that much. And we peel the jacket back on both sides. Use the wire strippers and cut the ends. Here I'm going to use a female. Now we have the pins that we're going to crimp onto these two in one side of the bag and then the connector itself on the other. This side slides right over the trunk cable. So I'm going to feed my wires through there and get the trunk cable through the gasket. Might help if you loosen the, the, the uh, crimper right there and put that on my trunk cable before I get started crimping. At this point, I might, I might put these together and shorten them to about maybe, maybe there. Cut that off, we're gonna strip both ends. I'm gonna use the 12, because this is 12 gauge wire. Strip about that much. Put the waste in my pocket. And again, use the 12 for stranded. Put the waste in my pocket. Go back to the pins of the female connector. Break them through the plastic. Set one here. This side is for 10 gauge, although the, the writing has worn away. The middle is for 12. So I'm gonna put the pin and the 12 Go crimp onto black. Again, put the pin into 12 and crimp onto red. On the other end of my connector, I can see right here that I don't have any strands going loose. They're going into here. And if you were to look directly into that, you'd see that it actually has a flat end right there. So you can't go too far into it, unlike MC4 connectors. That's just a side note. But anyway, we'll crimp that. Going to the other side for the female. And similar to an MC4 connector, you should feel a little snap on both sides. And we're gonna run these through. So make sure they're good and solid. Should look about like that with not much copper being exposed beneath each pin and then here we're going to see these things snap in bring the connector up you know not much of a snap there but it is together this part crimps all the way down and you can do it by hand you don't need any tools to get that as tight as it can be and that's how you make a female connector so here, I'm gonna use what we've already started with. And I'm just gonna cut away the MC4 heads that we put on this 12 gauge wire. I'm 
might use a knife to cut away the electrical tape. Not bad. And kind of like how we started before, I'm going to expose just a little bit more of the wire, peel the jacket away, use the wire strippers, cut the jacket, cut the jacket, uh, cut it down just a little bit more, now strip. Using 12, about that much. Open the package, take out the pins for the mail connector, rest one there. Put it into the 12 side of the crimper. Go ahead, crimp, and let me gather these together a little bit more. Looking a little frayed. Again, oops. Now, here I've made a mistake. Should have slid this on first. And at this point, I don't know if there's a way. Let's see if we can. If we can get it through there. <laughs> Looks like we just barely did. That works on the male connectors only, if you make that mistake. I know that those female connectors are they're too big to do that. So we got lucky, but that does work out. Now we won't need to tighten that yet. Get our mail end. Mail end like that. Put that on securely. All right, should look about like that. Minimal copper being exposed, which is good because he's going to be outside, even though he's going to be deep inside this connector. Nice click. Fasten that. And we snap these two together. That's how you make a splice for end phase. Thank you.